Lucky West Aussies might have seen whales like this before, but few have ever seen whales like this. Filmmakers used an underwater submersible to get up close to some of the largest creatures on Earth just off WA's coast. We have a whale superhighway in our backyards. Marine mammal scientist Rebecca Weller journeyed into the deep for the film which celebrates the comeback of our humpbacks. In the 60s they were decimated from commercial whaling so the numbers came down to the hundreds. We now have an estimated population of 20 to 30,000 individuals here off Western Australia which is absolutely incredible. It's the greatest conservation success story of our time. Sadly, the elusive blue whale is not doing as well. Numbers are officially classified data deficient and the film asks why. Maybe there's not enough krill for them to eat or maybe they're being displaced from anthropogenic noise. Maybe there's too much noise in their environment that they feel the need that they need to leave. It could be in multiple factors and we just don't know enough yet. And considering they're one of the largest animals on the planet, it's astonishing that we don't know enough yet. From our stunning Kimberley and the famous whale nursery of Camden Sound to the far south and on to Antarctica, researchers tracked whales on one of the longest migrations in the world. One of the most memorable moments I have of being lucky enough to go down in, in the submersible uh, and live in a fishbowl. It was an absolutely incredible experience to have. An experience I was also lucky enough to sample. This is unbelievable. Sub-pilot Ed Punchard took me on an unforgettable ride looking for whales off Dunsborough, only a dome of glass between us and the underwater world. We are at 12 metres over. It's a unique sensation that will be replicated for cinema goers under a specially built full dome screen when the film debuts at Cinefest Oz in Busselton next week. An incredible shaped cinema and you have this beautiful imagery completely surrounding you. It's like nothing else out there. The closest you'll get without getting wet. It's not as scary, it's a bit more comfortable, uh, <laughs> but it's as close as you'll get to being in a submersible. Some of Beck's favourite moments, the tender exchanges between a mother and calf and an eerie descent 84 metres below the surface to explore a whaling ship grave off Rotnest that used to kill hundreds upon hundreds of whales off our coast um, down in Albany. And now it's just covered in sea life. There's fish, there's coral. It was this beautiful juxtaposition watching something that used to destroy lives and now these animals have made it its home. She hopes the immersive film experience encourages education and preservation. We have an amazing backyard here and we need to protect it. So one day blue whales, like our humpbacks, once again flourish off WA. It's pretty rare to see one of the largest animals on the planet just swimming next to you. So it's an amazing experience for people to see.